Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse as a whole. Today we have a couple of pieces of news and information that we need to break down. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we have a couple of things to talk about. The first thing is in regards to Stephen Amell and the legacy of Arrow, because in an article with Den of Geek, we have Steven reflecting on the legacy of Arrow and teasing will he come back or not. This is one of the many articles that have been released, but this was more recently. Just over 10 days ago, this article came out, so I wanted to talk about it. Also, we have some news. Well, that isn't really news. It's been like a month since it came out, but I've just been meaning to talk about it and I haven't got around to it. So I'll talk about that piece of information towards the end of the video. That is just a teaser for you. I will reveal what that is when we get to it, but for now, let's go ahead and get into this Den of Geek article, so you can find it in the description below and click on it afterwards. So, the title of the article of the feature is, Stephen Amell reflects on the legacy of Arrow. I'm going to read out the article and there is lots of interesting quotes that we need to break down, but first things first, let's read the start of the article. So, this October will mark the 10th anniversary of the premiere of Arrow, the superhero TV series that ended up kickstarting one of the most important corners of superhero media in history, the Arrowverse of course. It's not an overstatement to point this out. Arrow run for 8 seasons and spawned more than half a dozen spin-offs, many of which are still running to this day. It tackled the most ambitious comic book storyline of all time in live action, years before its chief competitor in the shared universe sweepstakes, the MCU, would even consider the possibilities of the multiverse, and it made a star of its lead, Stephen Amell. So, just first thing to point out, yes, it's the 10th anniversary coming up this year, I believe in October, for the Arrowverse, for Arrow as well. So, that means 10 years since Season 1 premiered, since the pilot came out. And so, as we've been theorizing, there is probably going to be a big crossover, and lots of us have been suggesting that with the landmark sort of date, there is definitely the possibility that they might be seeking the return of some of these Arrow actors and Arrow characters to come in a crossover with some of our shows, considering it's the 10th anniversary, and you would guess that they are maybe trying to set up some sort of crossover event because it's been years since Crisis on Infinite Earths, and that was the last big crossover, although Armageddon was still crossover. It wasn't like a huge, huge deal. Anyway, so let's continue with this article. So Stephen Amell is now star of Heels, drama about the ups and downs of professional wrestling, and Den of Geek spoke to the actor back in September 2021 as that show was preparing to wrap its first season, and the subject of Arrow inevitably came up. And while we've yet to officially celebrate 10 years of Arrow on TV, we've just hit the decade mark since Amel was cast as Oliver Queen, and when this interview was conducted in 2021, DC was celebrating the 80th anniversary of Green Arrow. When I mentioned all of this to Amel, he brought up a fun fact from the pilot episode, which was just to do with when he asked Adam Hunt in the pilot to transfer a certain number to a bank account named 1141, that being, of course, the year that Green Arrow first appeared in the comics. Anyway, so that's just a fun fact. Let's actually move on to the kind of quote that I'm very interested in talking about. And so, obviously Arrow's ended, it ended after Crisis on Infinite Earths, and this is what Steven had to say. So what means a great deal to me is we did get to control the ending. That happens so rarely, to have that conversation with Greg Berlanti during the 6th season and decide that 7, and then a truncated version of the 8th season would wrap up the story, it's just such a blessing, because we got to do it in the right way. We got to say goodbye to the people in the right way, in my opinion, the way it should have ended for any superhero without superpowers is on the ground, although I think Oliver just turned into energy to, you know, never say never in regards to him coming back. So, that is a big quote that was talked about back when this interview was originally released, because never say never means, you know, maybe he does have some interest in coming back, and although he's pleased with the way that Oliver went out and the way that the show went out, people are still questioning, is he going to return? Because he's shown that he is open. In like the years since Arrow has ended, in the couple of years, he's been talking about, oh, you know, I miss Arrow. I miss being on set in Vancouver. 
and although he likes his new show, obviously Arrow played a huge part in his life and it really made his career. And so he goes on to say, oh, sure, I owe so much to the people of DC, the CW, and WBTV. I love the character so much and only love it more now that it's coming up on two years since we wrapped the show. But having little space now, I saw that I miss it. I do look back at it very, very fondly. Listen, I'm the namesake, so if I can ever be of any help, if I can be of service to the Arrowverse in any way, shape or form, or better still take it to a new place, which I think would be a more interesting route to go, be that in a limited capacity or on a different platform, maybe one where we could show blood, that would be really cool. So this is obviously him talking about how open he is because he owes so much to the people that make the Arrowverse shows and after all like he says he is the namesake of the multiverse of the Arrowverse because it's named after his character and so it's great to see that when he says if I could be in any service, any shape or form to the Arrowverse in any way he would love to come back and actually revive that. However, he says what's a more interesting route to go is that maybe they can make some sort of new path for Arrow, perhaps in the form of a limited series on a different platform, something like HBO Max, although he doesn't mention that. He mentions the fact that he would like to show blood. He thinks that would be very cool in terms of furthering the legacy of Arrow. So it seems, and he's talked about this many times, like he's been quoted, we've made videos on all of this, and obviously this interview is relatively old, but it's important to go over it, considering that Arrow's 10th anniversary is coming up, and we may see the return of Steven as Arrow, to know that he is open to this, and the fact that it may be a possibility in the future that we would get some sort of continuation of Arrow, maybe in a different form and limited capacity, that would be absolutely amazing and I think all the fans would be in for that and that would be rather unprecedented I would guess. Considering that when most shows ends, they normally end because they don't have the multiverse. However, this is a different case because this is the Arrowverse after all and there is limitless possibilities. Okay, so let's move on to the final topic of today's video. This is in regards to Misha Collins who has been cast in Gotham Knights as a mystery character. Now this mystery character is not so much a mystery because they did reveal who he's going to be playing. Obviously you guys may know Misha from Supernatural and he's going to be playing Harvey Dent in the TV show aka Two-Face. So he's going to be showing up in the Gotham Knights pilot which they are currently about to start filming I believe up in Toronto in Canada. And so he broke the news himself, like last month, where he will be joining the kind of renegade misfits that will be in Gotham Knights. We obviously got the casting of all of those other characters like a couple months ago when we broke that down. And it's exciting to see another CW alum sort of continue and go on to another show. Obviously Gotham Knights is a big deal and I can't wait to see our kind of first looks into the show as we head towards getting some footage from the show potentially sometime soon as they start filming it and the fact that two faces showing up is just amazing i think this casting is actually very interesting i don't know too much about misha but he is a good actor and we know that for sure and i love two face and we've never seen him in the arrowverse before so that is very very exciting now we don't know how connected gotham nice is going to be to the greater arrowverse However, with that being confirmed that Two-Face is showing up and even in the Batwoman comic recently with Earth Prime which is confirmed to be canon to the Arrowverse, you're seeing all of these different Batman villains that are, you know, very popular like Clayface showing up and now Two-Face showing up in the Arrowverse. It seems like we are expanding our breadth of villains beyond just the people we've already had and actually going for those big characters. So that makes us question, at what point are we going to see a version of the Joker? Are we going to see a version of the Riddler? Is that going to happen on Gotham Knights, considering that they've got the approval to do Two-Face? Because, you know, Two-Face is huge. He's been in many of the biggest Batman films and Batman projects out there. So it's not like it's anything small. It's a big, big deal. So what do you guys think about this? Are you excited for Gotham Knights? And do you think the fact that Two-Face is showing up is kind of crazy? Because I think it's kind of crazy and I really can't wait to see him actually show up. 
And in regards to Stephen Amell potentially returning as Arrow, do you think that Stephen is actually going to stick to his word and trying to pursue a new kind of way to bring back Arrow? Or do you think he's just going to show up in a crossover? Or do you think he's never going to show up again? I think it's a high possibility, as I mentioned before, that if they do a crossover this year for the Arrow vs. 10th anniversary, would you see him showing up? Because I do definitely see him showing up. So let me know about your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. And just before we end this video, I wanted to say I am still running my crowdfunding campaign for a new film that I'm directing. Please be sure to check out in the description below. There is a link to the crowdfunding campaign where there are many perks if you guys support the film. Obviously, I would really appreciate it and it's going to be running for another like nearly 30 days. So if you can spare any money, I would really appreciate it and you'll get your name on the film when it's released. So thank you guys so much for your support and for being awesome. I really appreciate it. And for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.